Hi everyone and welcome to 6th, 7th and 8th channel of Baijus. I am your teacher Rankita and in today's class we will be discussing about a very important chapter from class 6 and the name of the chapter is Food, Where Does It Come From? It's a super interesting and super important chapter so we will be discussing it today. In this particular class we will be focusing on the important key words, important key concepts and I will be telling you that what are the important questions that can come from this particular chapter. So please make sure you pay attention and stay with us throughout the session. Apart from that, if you are new to our class, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and please make sure to hit the like button. Before we get started, a small request for, to each one of you, please have your notebook and your pen or a pencil so that you can note down all the important points that we will be discussing. And if it's a very first time you are watching a video on the channel 6, 7th and 8th of Vaijus, please make sure to subscribe to the channel because only on in this particular channel you get amazing videos in terms of academics and of course we have amazing videos that will be helping you to build up your strategies and we have an amazing videos for the motivation. So it's a one stop destination for every student so subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started. First, we'll be discussing about that, why do we eat food? A very basic question, I would say, right? All of us love eating food. But what is the reason behind it that why we eat food? Now, we eat food so that we have the energy, right? And, and we can do various different activities. So, we are clear that why we eat food. But let's understand more further about it. What are the food and, of course, what are the ingredients? So, here... We have chapati, which is a food. And over here, we have the list of some ingredient. Now, what are the ingredient that we need to make chapati? Okay, we need flour and we need water. Right? Wheat flour. We will be needing that and when we add these two together, right? We will get the chapati. Now, in a case of a vegetable curry, definitely we need vegetables, we need oil, spices and salt. So we are clear that what is the food and what are the ingredient. To define that what are the ingredient, we can say that a food ingredi ingredient is a substance that is added to the food to achieve the desired effect. Interesting right, if we are making something, we need some raw materials that will be helping us to get the food out of that. So this is a very important one marks definition. Right, so I hope that all of you are clear with this. Now that we are clear with the food ingredient, let's understand more about the food material and resources. So, in terms of the food resources, we have two major categories. We have plant resource and then we have animal resource. First, we'll be discussing about the plant resource. So, what we get from the plants? We get the vegetables, cereals, fruits, rice, wheat and the list is kind of endless, right? So these are the materials that we get from the plant. When we talk in terms of a plant, plant as such whole, right, have different parts and each of these parts in some of the plants are the edible part, right, that we can easily eat. So we'll be discussing about this, right, that which part gives us what. So here we have root, of course, we have radish and the carrot over here that we, that we eat. Then we have the stem, potato and ginger, fruit, mango and apple, leaves, spinach, cabbage, flour. We have cauliflower and broccoli. And then we have seed, kidney bean seeds, wheat, rice, etc. Right, so we have all of these. Specifically in seed, when we talk about, we have different types of uh, seeds that we uh, get from the different, right? Uh, we have different plants that give us. Apart from that, we have different other sources also in seeds category. So when we think in terms of the plant, right? So the, we are getting all of this from the plant. And in plants also, these are different parts that we can easily eat. So now we are clear with that how we get the resource from the plants. Now we'll be discussing about the animal resource. Now this is really very easy. So animals give us milk, egg and meat. Now we are clear that these resources are coming from the animals and various organisms right, consume these, especially humans consume these. So now we are clear what are the resources we get from the plants and what are the resources we get from the animals. Now let me ask you a very easy simple question. Now we definitely eat plants, right? But I want to ask you a question that how plants are getting their nutrient or how plants are making their food so that we can consume them and get the energy out of that. 
It's an interesting question, right? And it's a super simple question. So now we'll be discussing about that how plants make their food. And it's a very easy answer. We know that plants make their food by the process of photosynthesis. They take up the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, from the air, water from the soil with the help of roots, and then of course in the presence of sunlight, and in the chlorophyll, a very important pigment that gives a green color to the plant, which is present in the chloroplast, which is there in the leaves, right? Plants make their food by the process of photosynthesis. And that's why we call them as the autotrophs and they use the mode, which is autotropic mode of nutrition. So those organisms that can make their own food, we call them as the autotrophs. So here we have the example of the autotrophs, which are plants because they can make their own food. Now, opposite to that, we have another mode of nutrition, which is the heterotropic mode of nutrition. Now, heterotropic mode of nutrition have those organisms that depends upon the others for their food. They cannot make their own food, they depend upon the others for their food. And in this category, we have herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Now, herbivores are the one that eats only the grass or the plant. Here we have the example of a cow, goat, all of these are the example. Then we have carnivores. They are the one that only consume the meat of other animals. Over here we have the example of lion. We can write the example like tiger, leopard. And then of course we have omnivores. Now these are the ones that consume both the plants as well as the meat. In this category, we are the biggest example. So we have herbivores, carnivores and omnivores in the category of heterotropic nutrition because we cannot make our own food, right? We depend upon others for our food and that's why we have a heterotropic mode of nutrition. So we are clear about this particular topic, right? So the heterotropic mode of nutrition and autotropic mode of nutrition are really very important from the exam, po exam point of view. Plant resource and animal resource can come for the difference, right? So please make sure you remember about those concepts also. With this, we are kind of done with the chapter. It's a very easy chapter. And I hope that you have understood each and everything that we, have, that we have studied. If you have, you can test yourself because we have a link in the description below. It's a crash course test, everyone. So once you have seen this video, right, please make sure to click on the link and, uh, you know, test the questions. Test yourself by answering the questions. And we'll be discussing about those answers in our future classes. Apart from that, everyone, please make sure that you are hitting the subscribe button and hitting the like uh, button for the video also. Let me tell you about something really very important. So, in these following dates, Bajesus is conducting an amazing test which is BNSPT at the Bajesus Tuition Center in different cities across the country. And these, this particular test is for class from grade 3 to 10. It's an amazing class. It's a free of cost test. Please make sure to register for it. And after this test, you will have an amazing report that will be telling you about your personality, about the skill set that you have, about your behavior, about the subject, and about the career that you can opt in the future. So it's an amazing test. Please make sure to try it out. It's, it's happening on these dates, so you can register on these dates. You have to go or to any of the BTC center which is very close by and you will be giving the test. It's registration. Link is in the description box, so please make sure to register. Let's move ahead. And as we always say everyone, we have got you covered. So please make sure to hit the like button for the video. Share with your friends and subscribe to this amazing channel. We'll be meeting really very soon. And on that note, bye bye everyone and keep on learning with Baijus.